Welcome back, Baywolf Nation. It's on Baywolf. Back at it with another YouTube video. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification to get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also, to check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also, to check out the I am Beowulf merch at BeowulfNation.com. Also, a really cool thing. There's a free $25 in cryptocurrency with my promo link in the description to get free $25 from crypto.com with signing up, making account with the link in my description. We each get free $25. Great way to get your feet wet into crypto or if you're already into crypto, then it's another way, good way of expanding your cryptocurrency wallet to a different area. And uh, the video is talking about the helium hotspot, so they have HNT helium on there. What the whole video is about, I just got the Freedom 5 helium hotspot 5G in the mail today. Let's do an unboxing. All right, so we got the Freedom 5 helium hotspot. And uh, this one, you can get a 5G antenna. So I just got it today. So let's film the unboxing video. And... Uh, it's in a pretty big box. I've had the ones with the Bobcat Miners and uh, Bobcat Miners is a lot, it's longer, um, but not as high. This one actually feels a lot heavier, which I'm pretty shocked um, that there's some weight to this box. Got the tape cut in the bottom. There's packaging. Here's the hot spot. This actually has some real weight to it. I'm actually really, really shocked. So you got the foam insert. It's probably the piece to mount it on the wall if you decide to do that. And it's pretty wild too. This is actually metal, not plastic. It's nice. All right, so we got wires. Man, it has a really heavy duty plug to it. This is more like a plug you would have in a computer, not your traditional um, plug. I've had the original Helium Hotspot and uh, the Bobcat Miner. And uh, yeah, this is definitely heavy duty cord to it. Let's see. Here's the antenna. I'd highly recommend upgrade antenna. Outside is better than inside. So you got some hardware. It's probably worth mounting that. And so it has it has a power pack. So actually the power pack is way heavier duty than um it's kinda I don't know the best way to describe it. It's a little black box that you put right to the outlet and have just a cord. Nothing I've seen has came to this. Uh, that's very very shocking. Uh, it, I guess it's it, nicer. Let's see. Metal. That's um. Yeah, some little thing. This is actually shocking, as this thing is all metal too. It is not plastic. Uh, it's crazy because the original helium hotspot looks like a little like cooker thing if like you showed it somebody you can make money with it People would be really shocked and then the uh, bobcat miner is Plastic this one's a lot more money too because this one's like a thousand bucks a thousand dollars For everything you see here, and then I didn't buy the antenna Because I want to see what's going on there with the other ones out there coming out uh, Plus two it was like a fair amount of waiting time to get the antenna so I didn't want to like spend a couple thousand dollars on an antenna and to find out me I don't need that antenna and just waste money. Tons of plugs. Very, this is a lot more heavier duty than uh, the other miners that are out there. It's a holy cow. I mean, it actually has an on off button on the back. Um, not sure what the console does it mean is that something you plug in for some type of monitor because you got the powers right there that 
would be where you plug in the internet. And it's crazy because it, there's not much, there's no paperwork. There's not like a manual. Uh, most of these ones, like the Bobcat Miner, I don't have the box on me because it's at another location. Uh, they come with like a little bit of idea of like what you're setting up. This is definitely a more expert person if you're not used to setting up hot spots and helium related products. This is probably not the one for you, um, but this is most of the whole weight is from this unit. I'm very shocked how heavy duty this thing is. Nice. So this is what it looks like. Box, nothing fancy to it, just a white box. A little bit of lettering. Some stuff, but then, uh, I don't see, they probably got the whole thing, you scan it right there. That shows it, so they have, say the, say the cost, there is stuff, but there isn't like a manual, but it's right there. This looks similar to the antenna used on the first hot spots that Helium came out with. I like that this is metal. Very impressive. Nice plug. Nice. Can't wait to hook this thing up. Cool thing of how that whole thing looks is that the hot spot is actually metal. In the video I talked about comparing it to the original helium hot spot I had and the Bobcat Miner. The 5G one isn't for everybody. Uh, definitely it uses tons of internet data. So if you're not into a, a, the fastest internet, it's probably not the one for you. I, I definitely recommend if you're looking to get one is the Bobcat Miner. There's definitely a weight to it. And cause I know I got about four he Bobcat Helium Miners that I ordered. Two of just showed a, they're shipping to me. Altogether I'll own, I think it's five. Two of them are coming and I'm still waiting on the other two. And who knows when I'm gonna get those. Cause I ordered those a while ago, but they, you gotta be patiently waiting with them. I have tracking numbers and take some time. With the Freedom 5, how I got that is basically I saw one morning, right when they announced it uh, on Instagram, I follow Helium, they posted about this without knowing anything and I quickly go onto the website, seeing they were taking pre-orders and knowing how hard it was to get the Helium hotspots. I put a deposit down without not knowing much about what I was buying and I was on about a, literally did it right when i saw it right when they did post it and i was about number like a thousand something early low thousand um person with putting the deposit on and then just waiting and not knowing much until i got it so now there's a lot more that's materialized with it now you know they have a, i didn't buy the antenna that they 5g antenna that they sell because it was basically it looks like it's working with a cellular data plan with not really select group and then just recently dish announced that they're partnering up with people that have these so uh from what i've read dish is going to be having their own uh 5g antennas that they'll be offering for people that have the freedom 5 5g helium hotspot so and they haven't even announced yet with verizon at and i mean who knows what the future of all this is so uh just today uh, now it's been a couple days past with the video, but they had it where they offered, opened it up to have a wait list where you could put a deposit again. And uh, I put another deposit, ordered another one. So um, I know my younger brother just bought one and then uh, I wasn't gonna buy another one because I'm like, all right, well, I got like a lot of uh, helium hotspots. I'm, I'm, my plan is to put those all in different locations was what my goal is with this whole thing to build a network. And uh, very curious to be where I'm going to be putting this 5G one. And even when I was uh, finished the payment on this, they had it where like they were saying it was a, a fair amount of wait. It was like 12 weeks wait if you got their antenna. And the antenna was almost like, I think it was over $2,000. And I just didn't want to be spending more money without knowing for sure if that's what I want to get or what's going on. And uh, cause you can still mine this normal, like any helium hotspot. You just get added bonuses having with the 5G one. But uh, I originally had, like I said earlier in the video, had the original Helium hotspot. And uh, I bought it off a guy on eBay. Interesting thing is, 
back when these the original hotspot came out you could have these multiple of them next to each other now they have to be so far apart but the guy bought it from when i looked up the data from the helium hotspot what he made that miner alone made that the guy had i mean he made i think it was like almost fifty thousand dollars worth uh us dollars worth of a helium that that thing made right when he got it right when it came out and he was selling he had i think he had a total of three and he was selling the other two uh because he couldn't use the other two anymore and then when i bought it i couldn't believe how much money that thing made originally interesting thing is i sold it and right before i was selling it, i was having issues on what it was earning and because he earned so much it maxed out the sd card in there and then there was like a, it was a run around with helium right when i wanted to do the transfer and sell it to find out they needed a whole new software with this sd card that some other company was offering that it needed it for the thing to keep on working so it earned so much so that it like maxed everything out that which would take a lot longer found that real interesting the person who bought it was really impatient i sold it on ebay and it's crazy because i sold sold the helium hotspot on ebay for like over fifty five hundred dollars and i paid a lot less for it originally the reason i sold it knowing that i had more hot spots coming uh but knowing that you know like it was the original one i knowing there was other things i used the money and bought more bobcat miners from it it's like what do you think of the math you have one hot spot or sell it and you could have a bunch more hot spots with selling it so that's kind of what i did um with it i check up the earnings with that because when i sold it it went to a guy in san diego and uh he's earning very well with it so basically you know it still does the same as all these other ones um i just wanted newer equipment so definitely if you're into getting into the network do your research and uh it's kind of pay to play if you really want to get in and don't want to wait then you got to be paying the price of way over what it is everything's overpriced right now just in general any industry you know like there's a pair of shoes that come out they sell out you got to pay to play to get to get them or cars you know like the whole thing anything got to pay to play so it's best to be on it that's why i ordered pre-ordered put on a wait list another one to get another one of these freedom 5 5g helium hotspots it's just who knows you know they start saying they're going to ship in january to the what the end of may it's a long time away so let's just see how things go and how this one goes but i figured to do this video unboxing it and uh comment at the bottom if you got any helium or you want to get into helium it's really gone big to then when i first got it basically a year ago how big it's got and it i remember stumbling upon finding about this it was like some tiktok video some guy said he's earning all this money with this little thing and it was like before it was really mainstream everybody knowing what helium was when i got it i remember when i bought it because i paid a little bit of, i paid like nine hundred dollars for the original helium hotspot when i got it because there was nowhere to get it that was before bobcat miner came out i mean there was rack miner but there was like nowhere to get anything and it was like crazy because once it got more mainstream then these helium hotspots were moving upwards to like twenty thousand dollars oh you know minimum were like five thousand dollars up towards twenty thirty thousand dollars and i was like holy cow I w during the time i wish i bought the other one the guy had because it's just you could have turned around and made a big profit because once it got more mainstream there was a bigger demand and then once there's been more hot spots out when you go on ebay they're not as crazy the price of that anymore that's why i sold mine is just knowing that it was like the right time to sell it to get the max amount of it because it's you know you never know how long it's going to last and some equipment stays there until more gets out there um I find it really fun. I mean, it's uh, it's not for everybody. You gotta have the antenna outside. I can tell you that. You can't depend with the antenna inside with any of these helium hotspots. So, do your research and you know, mounting an antenna outside. You know, it, it comes to we'll be doing one in a I'm gonna be installing one in a, a apartment complex. So it's I think we'll be doing that in the next couple of days. So. We'll see how that one turns out too with doing a antenna outside because a lot of those when you have hoas you can't be putting stuff like that outside so we're going to find the best way of discreetly putting it outside 
where nobody's gonna see it because uh, I know the person I'm gonna help install the one that the person bought is to have it be as discreet because the last thing we do is have this antenna where it's noticeable it just has to be outside and you don't want to connect these to the Wi-Fi you really want to have it to the earthnet ca uh, internet cable in it you could do a Wi-Fi but it's definitely uh, you want to have it directly in there because if you lose any connection it just starts over back to zero with it so definitely think all that through definitely fun getting involved with it I wouldn't really say it's the most profitable if you want to get into any kind of crypto mining I wouldn't really say it's the most profitable one uh, it has to connect to another hotspot nearby to earn the most amount of money uh, but I find that my uh, Bitcoin miners are making the most money I, I just recently got into mining Ethereum with a graphics card and uh, comparing that to this I mean it just matters where you're at um, they've done the having the helium so it didn't earn as much but I know when I put the bobcat miner that I got I mean it basically paid itself off for your investment within the first first month I think it was the first month of putting it up now it's just getting a little bit harder so it's just a lot to think in when you're buying equipment if you're overpaying it's going to take a lot longer to earn it you want to get in there sooner because there are only like so many spots where one of these can be so definitely you'd rather be in there first in a location because i've seen them just popping up everywhere uh, especially on the west coast it's unbelievable how many are out there with that so uh may i do more videos about helium hot spots but i figured do this one because i just got it and i'm like hey, there's not a lot out there i should have done it with the bobcat minor unboxing maybe i'll do an unboxing with that but this is kind of new so i figured to do it so if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button existing subscribers Hit the bell notification, get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Check out the Amazon story, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Now I have some links in there too on the Amazon store where you can get attendance for these. Because uh, I know there's some on out there. Maybe I will do that. So just check that out. Um, also too, check out the I am Beowulf merch at beowulfnation.com. And then the free $25 in cryptocurrency from crypto.com. Link in my description for signing up. We each with you signing up we each get $25 and it's totally free to get involved with it and you just figure out what cryptocurrency you want to invest into but it's definitely worth getting into investing now helium is on there be driven to win remember every day is earth day stay mighty and keep strong